Hello, welcome to another Blender tutorial. So in this video, we're going to see how to create this cool transformation effect. So first of all, let us take a text. So for timing, I will turn off this cube. So just I will hide it from outliner. And now we have to take a text by pressing shift A, go to the text and press tab to edit the text. So now we will add a little bit amount of depth to this text here. So in order to do that, we can select the text and here we can go to the option data. And here in geometry, we can increase the value of the extrude. Let's say I will increase up to like 0 0.1. So if you want to decrease more like 0 0.05 or something, so this is okay. And also I will add a little bit depth over this corners. So in order to do that here down, you can see there is an option like depth 0 0.01. So this is okay here. And now what the thing is, we need to add a remesh modifier for this text as if you go to this wireframe mode, the mesh is not proper. So we need to maintain the proper mesh flow to create this animation. So in order to do that, just I will select the text and in the modifier tab, search for the remesh. And now here I will select the option to sharp and make sure you have to disable this option, remove disconnected and enable the smooth shading. And now here we need to increase the number of depth. So I think this is okay. So we can go to the shaded mode. So if you go to like eight, so the value of eight is fine in the octree depth. So after that, we need to convert this text into mesh. So in order to do that, we can select this object and here in the object menu, select this convert to mesh here. So now the object has been converted to mesh. So next we will give the material for this thing. So select this and go to the material and click on this new. So let's say we'll give the concrete kind of material for this thing. Uh, so here I will rename it as concrete. So we will download some of the concrete texture from the Google. So this is a texture which I'm going to apply for this text here. So which has been downloaded from the free pick website. So I will put the link in the description. So in order to apply this texture for this material, uh, so I will go to the shading tab. And here we can search for node called image texture. So select this and we need to connect it to base color. And here we have to click on this open. So select the texture which I have downloaded. So select this and click on this open image. And now it has been applied. So after applying the texture, so just I will go to the layout mode. And now I will apply the UV texture for this thing. And now if you go to this shading mode, you can see the texture here. So we are we are not able to see the texture properly. So we will apply the UV texture for this thing. So in order to apply the UV, first you need to go to the edit mode and press A to select everything. And now we need to press U. So before that, you need to select the angle from where you want to apply the UV texture. So in this case, I'm going to apply using this viewport here and just press U and select this project from view bombs. So now the UV texture will apply based on the camera angles. So see now the texture has been applied properly and also I will increase the roughness for this thing. So just I will increase the roughness. So now we will add the displacement for this texture. So in order to look more depth for this thing. So I will go to the shading mode. So here we have to take a displacement node. So search for displacement node and we need to connect this to displace plan and now we'll connect this color to this height input so now we got this a uh, little bit of displacement for this text so we need to decrease the strength of this thing so here you can see there is an option like scale let's say i will give the value to 0 0.01 so now this is okay so it depends on your requirement we can give the value for this scale here so now we'll go to the layout mode and just enable the cube so now we'll adjust this cube according to the size of this text here so I will go to the side view and by selecting this cube, I will go to the edit mode and just I can select everything and scale in the X axis. So this is okay. And just I will add a little bit amount of bevel to this cube here. I will press control B to add a bevel and scroll up to increase the number of subdivisions. So this is okay. So now we have added a little bit of bevel to this cube here and also we'll add the remesh modifier for this cube too. So select this, we can go to the modifier tab, add remesh and I'll go to the wireframe mode and go to the sharp and here I will increase octet depth to like six or something. So this is okay. Or just I will increase to seven. And after that, I will apply the modifier for this thing. So select this and apply. And just I will switch back to the shaded mode. And also if you want to add more mesh inside this cube here, we will add a wireframe modifier here. So select this and add wireframe. And here I will give the thickness to 0.05. And also disable this option like even and also disable this replace original. And now I want this wireframe should be inside the cube. So here you can see there is an option like offset. So here I will give the value to like minus one. So the wireframe will be inside this cube here. 
and we'll give the same material for this cube here. So select this, go to the material and here I will select this concrete. And now we will apply the UV for this thing. So press tab, press A and just you can press U and select this project from view bounds. So that if you go to the shaded mode, now it has been added the texture for this thing. So we will add the quick explore for this cube. So select this and go to the object quick effects. And here there is an option like quick explore. So for timing, I will go to the solid view and here we will go to the particles tab and here I will set the number of particles to like 10,000. So here lifetime, I will give the value to like 1000 and here I will give the frame start to 2 and end value to 10. And later we will change this thing according to the animation and next come to the source option and here make sure enable this use modifier stack. So after enabling this use modifier stack, whenever we play the simulation, you can see the wireframe modifier, which has been applied for this cube here. So you can see that whenever I click on this play, as you can see, as we applied the wireframe modifier stack, we can see the proper pieces when we simulate this thing. And also you can see, we can add some more thickness for this pieces here because it is very, it is very flat here. So we will add the modifier. So if you go to the modifier tab and here we can add the solidify modifier. So it will add the little bit amount of thickness for this thing. And here I will set the thickness to 0 0.03. So now we'll play again. So as you see, we got the little bit amount of thickness for these pieces here. So now we will blend this animation means like the cube will be converted into text here. So for that first, we need to select the cube and go to the particle system. And here down, you can see that there is an option like texture and click on this new. After adding this, we can go to the texture option and scroll up here. You can select instead of particle system, we need to select this particle system texture. And here the type we need to select to blend. So we will make a transformation effect by using the UV. So here the blend coordinates defaultly it has been used as generated. So instead of that, we need to select this UV. So first we need to add the UV for this cube here. So earlier we have added the UV projection for this cube here that will not work. So we need to unwrap again. So we need to press tab and here we need to go to this object data panel and here in the UV map, click on this add. So we can name it as like explore or something. So we can like unwrap this cube from any direction. Let's say in this cases, I'm going to unwrap from this straight view and press U and select this project from U bounds. And now we will go to the edit mode again. So we will switch back to the solid mode again. And again, here we can go to the texture panel. And here now we need to select this explore UV, which has been applied. So now what it will happen is previously before applying the UV map, it was exploding entire cube here from the starting frame. So now whenever we apply this UV, so when we click on this play, so it will start explode from one point to another point here. So if you want to add more control over this thing in the colors, we can go to this option and enable this color ramp. And if you want to reverse it, you can select this color ramp. And here you can see there is an option like flip color ramp. So in case if you want to use this explosion from this side to this side, then we can use this flip option. So for this tutorial, let it be like a default. So we'll add the floor for this thing. So just, I will go to the first frame. And by pressing shift A, I can add a plane. So scale it. And here I can give the material for this cube here. So select this and go to the material, click on this new. Let's say we'll name it as like ground and you can give any color. So in this case, I'm going to give like blue and make sure place this ground exactly at the bottom of this cube here. So I will go to the side view and by pressing G and in the Z axis, just I will exactly place over here. So this is okay. So now we need to add the collision for this ground. So in order to do that, we can select this and go to the physics panel and we need to click on this collision. So that whenever we click on this play, the pieces will collide to this ground here. So I will click on this play. So here the particles are bouncing. So we need to reduce the bouncing level for this thing. So after selecting this cube, here you can see there is an option like damping. I can set the value to like 0 0.7 and also I will increase the value of friction to 0 0.7. And also I will add the randomness to one. So now we will work with the text here. So for time being, just like I will hide the cube and I will select the text 
and here i will select this objects quick effects quick explode so here i will go to the particle star and i will give the number to like 10000 and here same the frame start to 2 and end to 10 here so here we will add the texture for this thing so if you go to down so you can click on this new and go to the texture and here we need to select this particle system texture and type i will select it to blend and here in the coordinates we need to select the uv and here we need to select this uv map and here in the color ramp we need to enable this thing so here i will click on play we will see this thing okay so it is applying from left to right so we will give the more geometry for this text so we will add the wireframe modifier so select this go to the modifier and here we can add the wireframe so we'll disable this even option and also disable this replace original and here offset i will give the value to minus one so that we can able to see the solid text and the wireframe will go inside the text here and now we will see this so just go to first frame and click on play so now the simulation is applied properly so now we will duplicate this text and we will move it to the left side. So by pressing shift D and just I will move it to the left side until here. So no problem if you overlap the texture here. So now we have duplicated because whenever this explodes uh, directly, the explode pieces will go and attach to this second text here. So you can see that animation. So in order to do that first, I will select this second text. So it is named as text 001. So after that, we need to go to the particles and here we can go to the physics tab and physics type here. I will select this key and here I will open this relation and click on this plus button. So now we need to select the target object, uh, which is text one, like uh, the first text. And again, I will click on this add and for the target object, we will select this text 001. So by using this relation, whenever it explodes, these pieces will go and attach to this text here. And now we'll go to the modify tab by selecting this second text. And here we will disable this option unborn and enable this dead. And now we will select this right side text and we will select uncheck this unborn and we will disable this alive. So now we will see this thing. As you can see, whenever the right side text is exploding and the pieces are going to the left side and it is creating the text over the left side here. And now we have done the setup for this text. We will apply the option for this cube here. So I will go to the first frame and enable the cube. And in this particle system, I will set this end frame to 90. So here frame start, I will give the value to like 15. So now we will see this, click on this play. And now the pieces of this cube is not playing properly. So we need to follow some steps for this thing. So play the timeline until it start exploding. So let it be like up to 25 frames or something. Next, what we need to do is we need to go to the modify tab. And here you can see there is an option like refresh. We need to click on this refresh. So here in the particle system, so we need to go to the cache panel. And here we need to click on this bake all dynamics. So now the baking has been completed. Now, if you click on this play, the simulation will play properly. So we got this nice simulation here. And later you can give the lighting according to your requirement. You can use either like EV or cycles for render. And also one thing you need to do when we render, we will get some problem in the texture. So in order to fix that, we can go to the shading and here. So we need to connect this principal BSDF to this surface here so that you will get the proper render for this texture. So in this way, we can create this cool transformation effect here. So that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next video.